Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly do appreciate it. And welcome to those of you guys that are new. This is the daily telepathy for those of you guys that identify with Twin Flame Connection. It's general, so that means it's not going to resonate with everyone every time. So just keep that in mind, okay? Um, I'm all set for the full moon, as you see. <laughs> um, I'm releasing any uh, negative energies. The energy seems to be uh, really um, changing, like for the better. So that's really good. So it's a good time to release any negative energy for you guys out there that may be dealing with that. Or just release it if you just don't want it to come towards your way, basically. Okay? So, I'm going to do... These cards are ready to pop out. Um, I'm going to do two parts of this reading. Um, the second part will be the extended. If you like to get access to the extended, just click the join button below my video. Or if you want a one-time access, you can go uh, to the link on my site below. Uh, the video description where it says more. You may have to click on that twice. Okay? So this is the Daily Telepathy. I don't know if I said that. I probably did. I'm not sure which cards of uh, all of the ones I'm going to use of mine. I'm just going to let the cards tell me what it, it wants as far as when I uh, clarify. Okay. So um, everything you need to know will be listed below the video description. And um, if you want to get additional messages, Instagram, TikTok, you know, my other sites, uh, my shop. Uh, purchase any of my decks, my energy items, all that stuff, and Moon Kid, all that. It's going to be listed below the video description, okay? So basically, everything you need to know will be listed below. Uh, please take a moment to hit the like button and um, subscribe if you're new. If this is resonating, hit the notification bell to get my latest videos and when I go live, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first part, I'm going to uh, go ahead and see what's going on in the present, um, what took place in the past. Uh, your twin flame's thoughts about you, um, what they're fearing um, about you, and um, the outcome of the situation, okay? The second half, half, I will see what's influencing the present, the recent past, the immediate future of this situation, um, how other people may be viewing or influencing it, and then uh, your uh, twin flame's hopes when it comes to you and the connection, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so general energy of the masculine at this time, and I'm going to get the general energy of the feminine too. I didn't say that, but I'm, that's why I'm shuffling it around again. And that way you'll know which side you resonate with, if, if it's resonating at all, okay? General energy of the masculine is the star. So he could be an Aquarius, or he could be healing from something, or wishing and hoping uh, having faith in a certain situation. 17, that could be significant. It's also eight. So let's see, why is the masculine in this energy of, uh, this is the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. Let's go ahead and see why the masculine might be in this energy of healing or wishing and hoping, okay? So let's go ahead and see. So we have separation. So the masculine is healing from some type of separation. Um, some type of sadness, maybe missing you or something else that took place in it, his life. But it does say thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Unsh I'm sorry, my voice almost went out. Unsure of the future. So he is healing from some type of uh, sadness and uncertainty about the future for some of them. And sadness could be just uh, about thinking about you. And for the feminine, we have six of wands. This is a card of public recognition, uh, excess, I mean, success. Um, she could be going towards a victory, but there's all eyes on her. So she could be wanting attention or she is getting attention. So let's go ahead and see why that is there with the six of wands. Feminine could be a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, but doesn't necessarily mean so. So we have the snake. Competition, enemy clever, malicious look over your shoulder, the other woman. So what I'm getting here is... The feminine, I feel like this is a competitive energy. I don't feel the snake vibe with this six of wands instantly. I feel like the feminine is going forward successfully or that's what she wants to do to be successful and be any type of competition that she may be uh, dealing with, okay? She could have gone through a recent transformation as well, but a lot of people are, um, are looking at her and I feel like she is being successful, whatever she's um, 
you know, uh, feel like there's some form of competition, okay, uh, going on, all right? So let's go ahead and see what is the current situation between uh, the masculine and the feminine at this time. All right, so we have this tragedy energy. Forbidden love, alien, telepathic dreams, songs, pop up, spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit. So both of the masculine and the feminine could be feeling like there's some type of tragedy involved in their connection because they do feel very connected. They may even be receiving dreams and songs and it could have just happened all of it, all of a sudden. Okay. Spontaneous, unexpected. They also could be both wanting um, the other to come to them spontaneous, like pay a surprise visit. Okay. Um, for some of you guys, you could also be trying to block the connection, trying to block the spontaneous, the unexpected, like you may be trying to get out of this, uh, energy. Okay. So I'll, uh, clarify this, uh, further, uh, and extend it, um, to get, you know, more to it. I'm going to keep this reading under a certain time frame. At least that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so, um, that is what I'm getting for the first part. Okay. For the present situation. All right, so let's go ahead and see um, what took place in the past, okay? This is my cords uh, oracle, so let's go ahead and see what took place in the past. All right, in the past, we had family demands was a problem here with somebody's career or relationship choices. Somebody was kind of conceited, thinking everybody want, uh, wants them um, type of energy. Um, and then we have friend of me, pretending to be your friend, but plotting against you behind your back. So what I'm kind of getting here is this person, I'm getting like two messages. So hopefully I can remember it all because it's coming in very quick. I feel like this person was putting on some type of front with their family um, in regards to you, or this could be you taking how it resonates. And they were pretending that for some of you guys, they could pretend that you were conceited, thinking that everybody, you know, wants you. And they could have said that, but I feel like they pretending that they didn't want you. Um, and they may have, uh, you know, spoke to these family because of their demands here that they were just pretending to be your friend, okay? But they were actually just, you know, plotting, you know, behind your back. And I think this is, I feel like this is a false uh, energy, okay? I feel like this person is just pretending that this for whatever, because with this family demands, there's some type of pressure here on them to perform. Maybe they have to pay for, uh, you know, everybody's, um, you know, food and, you know, foundation, whatever. But I feel like there's something here, okay, um, with that with that message is what I'm getting. And I'll go further to see who the frenemy might be and what kind of family or career uh, choices might be affecting this connection at this time. Um, and what is this conceited energy? So I will clarify, you know, more in the extended, okay? So let's go ahead and see now what are their thoughts about you at this time. All right, I'm going to use this one. All right, so this is my more situations. I don't remember if I did this one or not, so I'm just gonna do it one time. I probably did, but I do too many things to remember. <laughs> All this stuff I do in a day, I barely can remember five minutes ago sometimes. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and see. Um, what did I say? Oh, their thoughts about you. Okay, their thoughts about you is they're playing tough <clears throat> or they feel you are playing tough. Hard on the outside, but soft on the um, inside. <clears throat> so I also might be getting that you give off this presence like you really like, you know, tough to, and you may be, you may be, you know, not one to mess with, okay? But really on the inside, you're really 
a sweet, you know, person, but you may just have this tough exterior, okay? And they also feel very amazed by you. They feel that you look even better in person than the last time that they saw you. So they're also thinking about that um, as well. And they're also thinking about a possible future with you is it says they see this relationship for the, the long term, okay? So I feel like they're playing tough or they feel you are, but they are really amazed by you. They really are, are into you and they do see some type of future with you, okay? So that is their thoughts, okay? So like I said, whatever I can pull out and extend it, I will pull out more, but that is basic the heart of what is going on there, okay? So... What are their fears about you at this time? Let me go back here. What are their fears? Ha um, habitual time waster. Keeps coming back in the same energy, but no offer. So their fear about you at this time, what I'm getting is, they feel that they've wasted your time over and over. And they just keep doing the same thing and they haven't changed. And so they're fearing that because they've wasted your time in the past, you just may be like this. You might just turn your back on it. Like you just, you waste my, you're just a waste of my time. Let me gather my purse and get in my car kind of thing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said this with these cards, even though that's there, but it, I, I really feel it in this message here. So, um, this is what they're fearing that, you know, it's just going to be a, a waste of time. Okay. You know, that they just waste your time because they've just done it so many times. It's not just once. They've done this multiple times, okay? So let's go ahead now and um, get, um, <laughs> how do they waste your time? Let me get, let me just get one because I feel like I have a little bit of time. So if I have a little time, I'll clarify some more, but then I'm going to stop at a certain point, okay? All right. So what did they do where they kept wasting your time? So we have girl talk, time with friends, moving on. Okay, happily single. They kept on like just talking, whether this was girl talk or maybe they were talking to other girls. Maybe they just was spending too much time with their friends and they were acting like they were happily single and they just was wanting to live in the moment, have fun. And you weren't feeling that. You were just like, oh yeah, blah, 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 <laughs> type of thing. Like I, I've heard it all before. Okay. You, you just feel like it's just going to be all talk, no action is what I'm getting. Yeah, when my voice starts speeding up, it's like that is the channeling is really happening fast, like going super fast. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and see what is the outcome of this situation. What is going to be the outcome of the situation? Yeah, I already shuffled this out for some. Ooh, they're not playing. Okay, so we have four of chalices. You see there's a feminine here, and it looks like there's a masculine at the door with a cup. So the outcome is you may be feeling like this is done, it's over. When I missed out on this situation, you feel like things have come to life with this dragonfly here, but there's somebody here at the door. Either you're not paying attention to them, you don't wanna hear it, or you've already given up on the situation and they're gonna just show up, okay? Four chalices, so I'm gonna uh, get a card to go along with the outcome. wish okay so the outcome we had that wish and that was the masculine's energy okay so the outcome is you may feel like you missed out on the situation or it's just you rejecting it whatever they have to offer you don't feel like it's going to be something good but in the meantime i feel like someone is wishing and hoping praying and yearning which the masculine was in this um i feel like they're hoping that you're missing them or you miss them, that you may be yearning from them as, uh, as well, okay? So that's the outcome is that there could be possibly a wish might be granted or there could be um, this person may come towards you when you're not, when you're really just either like so focused on other things, you may be thinking about, oh, it's, it's done, it's over with, and then this person may just show up, okay? When you're just really not um, expecting it. Because we have the wish here. So I do feel like some type of wish is going to be granted in some type of a way, uh, shape, or form when it comes to this connection. Because two wish cards are here uh, on the table here. Okay? So 
there could have been a, uh, a frenemy involved here that kind of like messed up you guys connection is kind of what I'm getting <clears throat> uh, for a lot of you okay and so um, I'm just going to clarify let me see just one part of this in the present situation what is coming through the alien the telepathic dreams and songs and you guys' connection I like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting one to date so you guys are both getting some type of vibe that either the other person is liking you or that the both of you may be wanting to go out and date that you want to go flirt you want to go towards romance and this could be just coming up all of a sudden like it may be maybe changing the connection uh changing someone's thoughts and maybe now they're wishing that they can um not waste your time anymore and it's like they're trying to figure out something because they do they are amazed by you okay so I do feel like the both of you guys could be, some of you guys could be, um, you know, not for everybody, but some of you guys could be connected to other people. And this could also be triggering both of you, okay? But I feel more so the masculine than um, the feminine just because of this, uh, this energy that the masculine was in and the energy that the feminine was in, okay? So... Um, if this is resonating with you, please hit the like button if you haven't already done it. If you did, thank you very much. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm going to take this over to the extended. If you'd like to join the extended, the link to join my channel membership is right below the video where it says join. You get there and then you get additional perks. Just put, you know, click on it to see all the stuff that's there. And you could also access it from my site if you just want a one-time access or you want the no frills uh, package uh, from my site membership, okay? Everything you need to know will be listed below. So thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. Uh, um, I was going to say something, but it went away. So I'll <laughs> say it later. Anyways, you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night. I'll be in touch soon. So, um... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Bye for now. Peace, love, and light.